Have you heard of ZK Snarks? Don't worry, many haven't, yet. But this innovation is an important part of understanding how your data and assets on the blockchain are protected. This will be a deep dive for those looking to understand the basics of this groundbreaking innovation. But soon, it will simply power the Web3 industry silently in the background like a computer chip in your laptop. In the 1980s, three academics from MIT invented the zero-knowledge proof theory. It's a way for two parties, a prover and a verifier, to validate something as true without revealing any information to each other, such as why it's true. For example, if the prover wanted to convince the verifier he knew a code to a locked safe, the prover could enter the code and unlock the safe, but not open it. The verifier would not know the code, yet could verify the prover speaks the truth. Also, the prover would have provided sufficient information without seeing what is inside the safe. In cryptography, ZK Snarks is a powerful way of verifying facts through code while preserving privacy and security. ZK Snark stands for Zero Knowledge Succinct Non-Interactive Argument of Knowledge, and while its name may not be the snappiest, it has the power to create an even greater layer of user protection on the blockchain without sacrificing privacy. Binance is committed to making sure each user has the privacy, security, and transparency that they deserve, and ZK Snarks offers a solution to solve one critical challenge in the community. Let's look at how. First though, we have to talk about Merkle trees. Merkle trees are structures used in blockchain technology to organize large amounts of data, such as transactions, into blocks. These are great, and very important for proving Binance holds user assets exactly as we're supposed to. But there are two main issues. Number one is privacy. With a classic Merkle tree, you cannot prove that user balances add up to the correct total amount without making other user balances visible or finding ways to hide any sensitive information so it isn't available for public consumption. While you can obscure sensitive data, this would not be ideal for user privacy and security. It's the equivalent of wanting to share specific figures in a spreadsheet to display a total amount while keeping the rest private. The issue is with the existing Merkle tree model, you can't share the total without sharing some of the other numbers in that tree. Number two, fake accounts with negative balances. It's another issue with a standard Merkle tree for proof of reserves as it requires you to completely trust the centralized exchange itself. A centralized exchange could conceivably create a user with a negative balance to reduce the total amount reflected in the reserves. For example, an exchange has a million dollars of user assets in custody. They create a fake user that shows the user with a negative balance of $250,000. Therefore, the total reserves listed is reduced to $750,000. This is why some observers have had trouble fully accepting Merkle tree proof of reserves. Proof of reserves results need to be accurate, secure, private, and verified without revealing individual users' assets. Now, remember the locked safe and the ZK Snarks we talked about? With ZK Snarks plugged into the Merkle tree, the user is the verifier and Binance is the prover. ZK Snarks use cryptographic algorithms to scramble up sensitive information so that it's hidden from the other party, while providing that party with the necessary proof requested. Using zero-knowledge proof, users can verify directly their total asset amounts, without revealing what they individually are, to achieve a total of all assets held. ZK Snarks allow us to prove that the balances of all Merkle Tree Leaf nodes contribute to the claimed total Binance amount of each crypto asset. And if there was a user with a negative net balance, the zero-knowledge proof verification would fail. So there we have it, a new, innovative, accurate, verifiable, secure way to show the total amount of user assets held by Binance without revealing private information. As this technology continues to evolve in the years ahead, it just might solve some of the most consequential challenges surrounding privacy and ownership in society today.